Since the dawn of time, men have always played the game of dominance and power. Think about it. Why do you think young boys constantly challenge each other? Or why men give firm handshakes and show interest in another man's height and weight? Everything is about asserting dominance. It is a primal instinct we all have to establish oneself as the alpha in a group. Some beta males will try to deny it, but here is the reality. There is always a man that dominates all other men in the room. From physical strength and skills to intelligence and charisma, every great leader uses hidden techniques to assert dominance and rise to the top. And he who dominates all others attracts money, power, respect, and women like a magnet. In this video, we will go over five powerful ways to show dominance without saying a word. Number one, exert social pressure. The beauty of dominance is the ability to put pressure on others. Dominant men can create social tension at will. They create social tension to make the more submissive individuals comply, crack, speak, or act. But sometimes, they create that tension without an actual reason. Just for the fun of wielding power and to show who's in charge. Most guys fall victim to social pressure, and that is why they can't exert pressure into the world themselves. When someone questions them, they feel the pressure to answer in time. Or when others laugh, they start to laugh with them. This makes you a submissive little worm instead of a dominant specimen. Now, think of any powerful man. Does this man put up a fake smile to please others or rush to answer a question? Of course not. He decides how fast he answers a question if he even wants to answer it in the first place. He only laughs if he genuinely finds something funny. There is no need for this man to fake a laugh just to please others. You see, there is no pressure on him to speak or act because he is the one that creates the pressure himself. One of the most simple and effective ways to put pressure on others is through silence. But this only works if you back up your silence with your presence. From your body language to your eyes. Don't look at the ground or make yourself smaller. And don't make silly facial expressions. That is all a form of de-escalation. Instead, stand firm behind your silence as if it is your own weapon. This takes confidence to do, but it exudes sheer tension on others. Number 2. Ignore what others say. A lot of people talk a bunch of nothing. They simply don't know when to keep their mouth shut. The reason for this is because their actions don't hold any weight, so they try to overcompensate with empty words. That is why you must know when to ignore meaningless talk. Ignoring is a way of showing dominance through slight disrespect. Listen. Often, when low-value individuals speak nonsense or get into a topic that the leader doesn't like, instead of openly stating his disapproval, the powerful individual simply ignores it. Knowing when to ignore people and remarks is a skill you must develop. It's powerful and high quality, while at the same time avoiding escalations and unneeded time wasting. Number 3. Eye Contact The eyes tell more than words could ever say. They will tell you if a smile is real or not, if someone is determined, and they can even cause intimidation or arousal. There is a lot of power in the eyes, and most people don't have a clue about it. Think about it for a second. The ability to command another's gaze, to transfix their mind and muscles by using nothing more than the resolve of one's unblinking eyes. Eye contact is one of the most powerful forms of nonverbal communication. And yet, the average guy doesn't have a clue about it. He may even find it awkward to use his eyes as a form of power. Listen. People who have higher status make more eye contact when they're speaking and less eye contact when they're listening. This shows power. 
those with lower status do the opposite, and this shows submission. It's key to strike the right balance. Know when to be so powerful with your eye contact that you stare in someone's soul, and when to ease off. Because steering too much in the wrong situations comes across as confrontational and aggressive. If it's not the right moment to get a point across or establish dominance, you should hold off on fierce eye contact a little. But when it's time to be intense, you need to be able to activate it instantly. Number 4. Body Language Your body language speaks volumes about you and can exude dominance into the world. It shows other guys you are not threatened by them and shows girls you are the real deal. Take a look around you the next time you are outside. Observe the body language of others. They are slouched over looking at their phone with their neck bent. These people have the body language of a flamingo. This makes them seem like prey. The first step to strong body language is to stand up straight with your chest out and your chin slightly lifted in the air. It's something you will hear fathers tell their sons. Because a father does not want his son to look like pathetic prey, ready to get picked on and bullied by the world. The next important thing is how you walk. Do you move first or follow the herd? Dominance is walking at your own pace, moving first if you want something and not walking around like a goofball. What's also important is how you shake someone's hand. You don't need to squeeze their hand off, but make sure your handshake is firm enough so your presence is felt. Lastly, you need to know when to relax. A king is intense when he sits on a throne, because the most powerful men know how to sit back and relax. When it's time to stand up and be firm, they are firm. But being calm and relaxed is also a way of displaying dominance. It shows you are confident and have everything under control. Number 5. Walk through everyone. Stop asking for permission. You are handing people the power to stop you. People love to tell you no when you give them the option. They feel happy to exert authority over you. If the potential damage is moderate or in any way reversible, don't give people the chance to say no. Most people are fast to stop you before you even get started, but hesitant to get in the way if you're already moving. It's hard to stop a powerful train that's moving, but easy to keep a train halted that hasn't yet moved. So, move forward with confidence. Reality is negotiable. Almost every single rule can be bent or broken. Go, and if necessary, ask for forgiveness instead of permission. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time.